You're listening to the Atra Request Show with Nick Collins. This is Up FM 107.5. Indeed you are. This is the At Your Request Show, and right about now, I've got a very special uh, guest on the line. Now, he is one part social tonics advocate. He is one part, I guess you could say, superhero. His name is Matt Bowden, but you probably know him better as Starboy. Matt, are you there this morning? Yes, I am. Good morning, Nick. How are you doing today, buddy? Pretty damn fine with the sunshine. Oh. Excellent. Now, seven days' time, something pretty epic is uh, going down. It is called Eternity Live, or should I say Starboy Eternity Live. First of all, what is Starboy Eternity? Now, I know it's a mini-movie, but there's probably a great deal more that is uh, to it, so you're the best person to tell us all about Starboy Eternity. Right, it's a whole other universe, Nick. So we looked at it and thought, music, how do we sell music? I want to make some music, you know? That's what I've always wanted to do. Um, looking at it now, people don't really buy music, but they do look at it on the internet, on YouTube and so on. So to me, the idea with marketing is to put everything into making the most amazing visual and musical experience that you can. So we thought, let's make a mini-movie, um, The Adventures of Starboy. So Starboy is, um, well, he's actually an alchemist, as, as, it, as it happens, and he's living on a flat earth uh, with the people just a little bit behind, and he tries to bring his ideas, and, they don't, and um, for a while they like it, but then the uh, planet gets invaded by the strangers who um, come in on their great big spaceship, and they start abducting people, knocking them out into a sleep state, and Starboy and the little girl uh, running around trying to wake people up and they have to find, they use technology to get rid of the aliens and then um, and then the people don't like it that much, they don't like Star Wars technology and so um, that's kind of what the movie's about, and the first part and then there's a part two and a part three, so it's a bit like the old movies we used to you know, there used to be a short movie with music and, the, and, the, and the, uh, there'd be a, they'd, a hero that would be chased and cliffhanger scenes at the end, but it's sort of sci-fi and it's in a steampunk world and the difference is, of course, they can go and watch this movie for free. Is that correct? It is. We're just putting it straight out for free. So just like, here's an amazing experience. Watch this. Whereabouts, like can, it. whereabouts can people go and check it out? I've already uh, had a little uh, nosy at it. It is visually pretty darn stunning. It is, yeah. I can't afford to make a three-hour movie like Lord of the Rings, but I can do little short ones. So um, www.starboy.tv. So starboy.tv. TV and um, just go check it out there and send it to your friends because it is amazing and it's not just me, a lot of people in New Zealand just work overtime and just put all the stops out to do something incredible here and it's um, we're really proud of it. How long has the process of uh, Starboy Eternity been going on to get it from maybe a storyboarded uh, sort of stage right up into uh, right now where people can go and watch it? Oh, it must have been a couple of years ago there was a drum beat and then um, a bass riff came about, they had a nice groove to it, and then when we when it got up and started singing, there was this world kind of opened up in my mind, and that was a couple of years ago, and I sort of had the story of the little girl, who's actually my daughter Shizzy, um, who you might see at, at um, outdoor parties sometimes, uh, running through this world trying to wake people up and bring them, so it's like that Age of Enlightenment thing, um, and then we went to um, various production companies who said, look, you can't, you just can't make a video like that, that's impossible, and eventually, um, for me, the way I run my life is, yes, you can, and I just found someone else who said, Yes, you can, and we kept finding more people who were insane until we could do it. Mm, so maybe a year, but the shooting took three days, and then post-production and effects took a couple of months, I think. So part one is already out, and you said there's going to be a part two and part three. Is that right? We've actually already filmed part two and part three, and um, they'll be completed over the next few months. And then I think p- part three, Homecoming, will probably come out uh, with the album. I've spent a couple of years making the album, like layering up. Uh, there's a lot of rock sounds in there. I want to bl- blend together rock, orchestral, and electronic, and just put it out there, and r- roughly in the rock genre, just because so many people are stuck in that headset. Now that is, what is the difference between Starboy and Matt Bowden? Um, there's, there's a bit of a fine line there. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I can tell anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and especially what do you say? You obviously get a lot of media, you know, and uh, it's not always positive. You know, let's, let's be honest. What do you say to the people that go, Matt Bowden, he's just, he's just crazy? 
Um, well, well, all innovators are, are generally um, looked upon as crazy if you look back through history. I was feeling that the drug laws were um, insane, actually, particularly when Europeans were allowed to drink their alcohol and other people aren't allowed to use their substances. That's all wrong. That's got to change. Um, and so for a while I had to don the persona of a guy with short hair in a suit and talk all this corporate stuff um, to get those laws through. And I've actually achieved that. I wanted to get the Misuse of Drugs Act um, reviewed 10 years ago is what I set out to do. And I've done that and I've achieved that. And I wanted to get the laws changed so that new drugs are regulated properly. And I've done that. And I wanted to get the government to agree to put in a new body in place. And, they've, and I've done that. They've agreed to that. And other countries are looking and starting to copy, as I said they would. And so if you say I'm crazy, that's cool. But I, I, um, I did do what I said I was going to do and I have achieved it. So now I'm going to get on with being a rock star. And that is under the uh, guise, of course, as Starboy. Now, to go along with the mini-movie, you've got a whole, well, an immersive theatrical rock party is what is coming up next Friday night down at the Viaduct Events Centre. What can people expect there? It's not just a concert where you just kind of stand there and go, oh, yeah, and, you know, wave your hands in the air. Tell us all about it. Well, I kind of want a next-level list from where people used to go to rock concerts. I mean, I remember as a, as a young fella going to see bands like Pink Floyd and seeing the massive show and thinking, that's cool. I want to do that when I grow up. And then also going to dance parties and having that, you know, being able to interact with everybody. And, uh, and let's, just, let's just take all that and blend it together. So I used to have a lot of parties at my house and a lot of listeners, UpFM listeners, probably most of them have been to my parties and the whole house has done it. Everyone comes in costume and it's entertainment. It just gets insane. And then we have to use the lawyers to keep it all out of the newspapers. But um, and, and um, anyway, enough said about that. So we just want to go public with that shit. And so now we've taken a big venue like the Vital Event Centre. You come in there. When you get to the door, we've got... Um, first scene of there with all the professional costumes so a lot of people forget to bring their costume or forget to wear one and so we costume you we do makeup and prosthetics so that everybody is looking absolutely incredible and then you come onto the movie set there's a massive room and so there's a band playing doing our psychedelic electronic rock but at the same time as that's happening in between the songs there's all this drama going on there's things happening all around the room there's things happening above you all around you you don't know if the people next to you are part of the show or if they're um or if they're um, an audience. And it's like the whole idea is that I realised that um, a lot of people were seeing me as being sort of pro-drugs, which I'm really not. I was pro-regulation. And so what I'm saying, particularly for young people, I've got young people in the street coming up to me saying, yay, chronic. And I'm looking, thinking, geez, you're not 18. So my message is that, that life's not really about that. I mean, um, the cleanest high that I get comes from music and from creativity. And the message is that let's have a party that's so cool that it's like drugs, but it's totally non-toxic. And so so the whole thing is like a complete trap. You don't know what's real and what's not. But you can walk out the door and it goes away and there's no residue in your system afterwards except for the, the hooks and the tunes which will be hopefully in your mind. So it's going to be the complete package as such rather than, uh, you know, just showing up like I uh, mentioned and going, yeah, yeah, I love this music. There'll be a whole greater deal to it, a whole lot of stuff kind of going on. You've got some special guests there as well. Who who else is on the lineup besides uh, yourself? Okay, so um, after the rock show, it goes into a um, it's DJ Justin Sane, and um, he's going to play. I'm not sure exactly what Justin gonna, is going to play, but um, hopefully it's going to be a whole bunch of fun, and there's going to be just a lot going on. Uh, Jay Geek and the Geeks, who do um, they are these, particularly for the ladies, seem to enjoy them. They get their shirts off, and they just get up and do thousands of sit-ups and push-ups every day, and they come out and do their uh, Metropolitan Maori Thing, which is which is pretty cool. They dance like Michael Jackson, and they do their thing. And then we've got um, uh, Wesley Dowdle, who was Aaron Spiller on Outrageous Fortune, is going to be the narrator. And then we've got a lot of other um, aerial performers and, um, and acrobats. I mean, the council just a little bit dicey about aerial performers this week after the tragedy that happened. But um, but I think we can still we're still allowed to do stuff. And we've got a lot of pyro and flamethrowers and explosives and lights and the, the big high power lasers and all those kind of goodies. Now, I'm going to be completely cheeky here, but everyone keeps asking me, how much does it cost to put on one of these things? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. I'm not actually going to... I'm not going to make my money back on it, I don't think, but we, I am going to entertain a lot of people, and if you want to come to my party, please do come. We've put up a deal for people that can't afford to come, so if you can find two paying customers... What I said at the last party is the first hit is always free, um, but I do need to charge, otherwise everyone in Auckland is going to want to come. It's going to be impossible, so buy two tickets, get one free is the deal. Um, and what does it cost? I don't know, hundreds? Something like that. Where can people buy tickets? Starboy.tv or Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster.co.nz. Thank you. Yep. Well, go to Starboy.tv, there's links there. 
What's the next goal for Starboy after this particular absolutely massive party that everyone is, uh, you know, going to be talking about? Everyone is uh, going to be looking at the, uh, you know, the photos online. They're uh, probably going to look at the reviews on, uh, you know, on on the Herald. Dare yeah. I say it, and all the rest of the places out there as well. Okay, so my my goal is that to take a show like this, which is visually spectacular, which is really quite different, to export it. So I want to go up and tour Europe and then come through Asia. The, my goal is that at the moment the, the government have said yes to me I'm having my regulatory body and a new um, my new industry set up that's going to generate hundreds of millions if not billions of dollars and bring them into the New Zealand economy I'd be criticised so hard for making money out of um, selling drug products that I thought you know what I don't actually need to do that I'm going to take that and put that whole um, pharmaceutical company into a charity so that the money goes back into the community back into rehabs and research and furthering the arts of course and then um, I will make a living singing and playing my guitar so I want to tour this show uh, the movies will go out there so that they'll hopefully viralise and be seen worldwide and create a buzz around Star Wars. so then I can take a show tour it around Europe and through Asia and stuff and be out there just um, being an artist and being a musician and um, quite happily have my uh, pharmaceutical company back here doing its thing and then uh, as other countries take on our regulatory uh, model which looks like they're going to do then I can get to eventually to the United Nations and say hey war on drugs sucks let's knock it on the head. No, I think it's really important, uh, f- from my point of view anyways, to let everybody kind of know out there, you've got Starboy Music as well. Like you just said, you are very, very active at helping other people, not just yourself, but other people out there to uh, achieve the goals they need to achieve. For example, the Up FM uh, Club Tour helped us out with that one, and the upcoming Solar Series as, uh, as well. How important is it for you to uh, make sure that you kind of give back to uh, everybody else? Well, it's about, it's about society and, and the community moving forwards together. And what, I, what I've done like with, um, with drug policy, to me, is that's like, um, as a community, we've got to be able to think outside the box and we've got to be able to um, find innovative new ideas. And particularly New Zealand is small enough that we can try things and do them here and the rest of the world can follow. So if you think, look at the world and think, OK, it stinks, let's just change something here in New Zealand, then other countries will follow. And what the, what the, the importance of, the, of art is that um, art, artists stimulate creative thought in the rest of the community and so if we only fund for instance um, the videos and music funding is, is keyed around whether the thing is commercial or not and that means that whether it matches what's happened in the past which means we're only funding art which is looking backwards which means we're going to end up with art which is non-creative uh, and, and music and which is not actually going to drive people forward into new creative thought so as a society we'll go backwards and so it's more important um, in my opinion to fund uh, art, artists and um, you know, creative artists and musicians that are forward thinking, that are moving forward, that are going to create new art, which is going to stimulate new creative thought and in individuals, which is going to progress society forwards, particularly in New Zealand, because we are leading the world. And finally, coming back to uh, Starboy Eternity Live, basically one word, one or one or two words that would best describe what people are in for next uh, Friday night at the Viaduct Event Centre. Immersive theatrical experience, um, ultimate end of year party, um, I don't know, orgasmic delight. There you have it. Matt, an absolute pleasure talking to you. Uh, you too. Hey, thank you, Up FM listeners. I love you guys all. I love Up FM and I love the listeners. I love the parties and hanging out with you people all. You're all such an awesome, beautiful, smiley, bouncy community. There's nothing else like it in the country. It's fantastic. We absolutely appreciate all the support from uh, Starboy Music and yourself, and uh, we look forward to Friday night. Starboy Eternity Live, the immersive theatrical rock party, Friday the 16th of December, Viaduct Events Centre. Of course, you've got Starboy with special guest Jay Geek and the Geeks, DJ Justin Sane on there as well. You've got Wesley Dell. Is that how you... Battle, yeah, Aaron Spiller, yeah. Tickets are on sale right now, ticketmaster.co.nz, and don't forget to check out the movie as well, starboy.tv, www.starboy.tv. Matt, thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. Okay, bye, kisses, mama. See you, mate.